Hey guys, before we get going with the video, I have some good news. Due to popular demand, I have opened up some free channels in our Discord server. So get in while you can because I don't want there to be too many people in our Discord server. So the link is in the video description below. Like I said, the whole server is not free. You just want a taste of what you can get by getting into our server. I've opened up some free channels. So get in while it's still hot. Hey guys, how's it going? Solo back with the final video of 2020. This is video number 367 for the year. What a great way to close out the year. Hopefully everybody had a green 2020 and you had some big gains in your portfolio. In this video, we're going to talk about rocket companies again, ticker symbol RKT. It's been a few days since we've taken a look at this stock. As always, we'll look at the overall market heat map. We'll look to see how RKT traded today. We will look at some recent news that just came out on why a certain investor or certain company thinks that RKT is a bull right now. We'll do some updated technical analysis. And as always, we will end the video looking at the option flow data to see how the big money investors traded options on rocket companies today. So let's get right into it. Look at the heat map here. Overall green day. Some of the big tech stocks got hit a little bit. Apple, Amazon down. Microsoft was flat. Google up about 1%. Facebook up about half a percent. So more green than red on the border, however. So what a great way to end the last trading day of 2020. Let's get right into it. Let's take a look at Rocket Companies. So here's the Robinhood graph on RKT. And not a great day for RKT, unfortunately. Down 4.4%. After hours trading, we are pretty much perfectly flat. No more, no less. Oh, there we go. 0.05% down as I'm making this video. But for all intents and purposes, we're pretty much flat after hours. Over the week, RKT is still in the red, down 3.85% on the week. So didn't have a good week. On the month, not looking so great either. Still down a little over 1% on the month. However, if you were a longtime holder of Rocket Companies, you're still looking pretty good. You're kind of flat over the past three months, just up 1.2%. This is what I don't like to see in a stock if I'm trying to do the wheel strategy for options, something that this is so choppy, the fear is that you get assigned shares up here, the stock crashes, and then it rallies and crashes, rallies, but it never gets quite back up to where you may have gotten assigned shares. This is not what I like to see. I like to see stock charts that are just straight up and to the right. That way I know if I get assigned shares of stock, it's just a matter of time before the stock will get back up to that level. On the year, you can see RKT is a relatively new stock, didn't start trading until mid-2020 in August. And still, like I said, on the year, it's really a three-month graph that's more accurate picture. Let's just take a look to see how juicy the premiums are on RKT. If you wanted to sell some weekly puts for January 8th, let's say you wanted to start running the wheel on RKT. The options right now, the at-the-money put, you would collect $48 in premium and you would have to put up $2,000 in collateral for that 20 strike put. So that would give you a return on risk of 2.4%, which is actually not that good. RKT had much juicier premiums about a few weeks to a few months ago. It was a very popular stock at that time, but right now you can get more juice out of some other tickers that I've covered recently in the past week or so. I don't have any shares or options open on RKT, but I know a lot of the people in my Discord server and a lot of my viewers do, so I'm making this update video for you guys and gals. Let's take a look at the news article that I saw on RKT to see why one company thinks that RKT is a bull right now. So here's an article on Yahoo Finance by Zax, and the article is titled Bull of the Day Rocket Companies RKT. So this article actually came out a few days ago on December 28th, right before the market opened. And the article says the theme to today's bull and bear of the day, the bull which was RKT that day, is a company that's priced at deep value level and the bear is a company trading at nosebleed highs. So on December 28th, Zacks claimed that RKT was a bull. So they thought it was essentially on sale, that it was a value stock. So let's see what they say in this article. So if we scroll down, you can see they're saying the lending industry, which is what Rocket Companies is involved with, especially in residential mortgages, has been dependent on a great deal of human effort for a long time, but that's changing fast. So the old model of a salesperson explaining the available loan products to a customer 
collecting all the information and documentation, and then turning the loan over to underwriters who then determine the credit of the borrower and the value of the collateral, make sure that they fit the risk standards of the lender. That's old school, right? Right now, mortgage products and the application process, it used to be more complicated to the average home buyer and they really couldn't understand it. So they needed a salesperson to explain it. But like this article says, those times are gone. Consumers are now much more educated. They're more you know, up to date on interest rates. They have easy access to the most up-to-date interest rates and their own credit report. So the broker is becoming less necessary and that's where Rocket Companies is capitalizing on this trend. So now applying for a mortgage online, it's very easy. The approval process is fast and efficient. And not only that, but because the company can save money by cutting out all of the middlemen, they can pass these savings on to the customer or their bottom line. So the parent company of Quicket Loans and Rocket Mortgage, it went public, like I said, back in August. And at the time, the offering price was just $18 a share. So right now, this is some of the reasons, especially for future growth, that Zacks thinks that Rocket Companies is undervalued. It may be a good buy right now if you want to lock in a low price on shares. Let me know in the comments below if you have shares or options open on RKT. And let me know if you agree or disagree with that. They pose a very convincing argument, I must say. Let's take a look at TradingView to do some updated technical analysis on Rocket Companies to see if we can predict where the company is going to trade this coming week. So here's the TradingView graph on Rocket Companies. You can see I've done some TA in the past. I'm going to zoom in here. We haven't looked at this since about December 24th before Christmas time. And you can see I was kind of split as to where my prediction was going for Rocket Companies. I thought it could easily go up or down and we'd have to let the market decide. Well, it kind of did a little bit of both because it went down the following day on December 28th, the following trading day, I should say, was green the next two days. And today we had a fairly big red day today, like I said, down almost 4.5%. Now, the real question is where are we going from here, right? We are looking like we are on a downward trend. However, the RSI is just a little bit to the oversold side, but that doesn't really help us too much. I'm wondering if really, where is the next area of support? Because I have this area of trend at $21, which now looks like it's gonna be resistance. So really the question is where is the bottom? Now, the one thing I wanna do is let's see if I redraw some of these Fibonacci retracement levels. And instead of drawing it to the most recent high on November 17th, what if I dial it back to the most recent high back on December 16th? Let's see what happens if I move this a little bit down just like this. And it doesn't really change things too much. I don't think that helps us. But the one thing I do like is right here, which actually lines up almost perfectly with the 38.2% Fibonacci level, looks like it's an area of support. Looks like we topped out this candle here on December 7th, kind of bottomed out this candle the following day on the 8th, but also topped out this candle and then the bottom of these wicks on October 22 and 26. So I think right now, our next closest area of support is gonna be about just shy of $20, around $19 and 74 or 75 cents, let's just say, to keep it kind of a round number. Now, is there anything closer between about $20 and $21 that I can see? Well, I'm looking at kind of this price level around here. Around just over $20, it looks like this wick bottomed out there. Kind of this wick bottomed out there as well on December 3rd. This wick, this candle, top of this candle, bottom of that candle. I am liking actually a little over $20 as a close area of support. And you can see if I zoom in here, we closed just above that. I think, I think, because there's really no good news that's coming out so far that I can see, at least lately on RKT, I think in the next coming trading days, we will continue the sell-off on Rocket Companies. It's just a matter of where we stop selling off and where do we find support. Do we find support at 20? Or is it a little bit less than 20 in the, let's say, mid to high 19s? We'll have to wait and see. But right now, I could draw a trend line it looks, you know, something like this very quickly. And it looks like we are on a downward trend. I need something to break that trend line. I would draw maybe something along the lines of this see, to see how that holds up. But these are just rough estimates. For the time being, I'm going to delete 
these lines here just so the stock chart isn't too cluttered. But I want to see something that proves to me that we're going to have a short or midterm bullish trend now. And I'm not just seeing that right now. Let's end the video looking at the option flow data to see what the big money investors did with RKT today. So here's the trade UI graph on rocket companies. You can see 10 sweep orders came in today. If I scroll down, the red boxes represent put options. The green boxes represent call options. And there's much more green than red. So it looks like people are bullish on RKT. But if we look at these expirations, these are pretty far out. These are either March of 2021 or December of 2021. So basically a year from now. And the strikes, a lot of these are for the 30 strike. So it looks like a lot of big money came in thinking that RKT is going to have a good year. Because for example, this is $100,000. This is $130,000 betting that Rocket Companies is going to get to at least $30 by December of next year. Some of these are less aggressive. This is a 20 strike, 23 strike. So some of these that are in the money might actually be hedges. But most of these are out of the money. So it looks bullish actually. So let me know if you have shares or options on rocket companies and what your plans are. Do you agree or disagree with my TA? And do you like the option flow data? As always, make sure you join our Discord server. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and follow me on Reddit. I hope you had a green year, and I hope you have another green year in 2021. Happy trading.